I mean, literally the fastest ever. I have to film this video right the fuck now. Right the fuck here on Kristen's literal floor. I feel like I'm back in Glendale working at McDonald's and shit. Just like in Boca. But you guys, last night I had a psycho fucking literal like delusional experience with this daddy. And for those of you who don't know, professional sugar baby right here. Um, a lot of you have been asking my occupation. I wake up, I breathe, and get money. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I do OnlyFans. I spread my holes on all my platforms. But last night, the guy who literally paid for my $1,200 flight to Florida wanted to see me, of course. And so me and a friend went over there and literally let me just take you guys down like fucking memory lane like have a that's a raven moment like really visualize this shit me like literally blacked out off 10 edibles getting off my flight at fucking florida uh, um and so literally we land i'm like literally waking up from my coma like drooling like in my mattress um thank fucking god <laughs> thanks alex and then literally for two hours it was like uh what's it called sprinkling sorry i'm so high and so they were like, oh, it's raining. Like, we can't get you off the plane. I'm like, ma'am, this is not the fucking Hunger Games. It is not that deep. You just connect the tube to the thing and let me get the fuck off because my suburban is weak. And so this guy who flew me out is so annoyed. Like, because I'm the pilot, right? Like, he's so annoyed <laughs> at me. Okay. And so, and he's been like generous to me. Like when I had negative $300 in my bank account after paying for my veneers, because they were like a little more expensive than I thought. Um, he really pulled through. So I was like, okay, why are you being rude? And so then since I waited two motherfucking hours on this plane to get off, oh, while we're waiting the two hours, this guy is screaming in my face. He like made his way up from, what is, I don't even know, business commercial, like what's that called? Like the main part of the plane, I like forget. Um, and he's like screaming. He's like, I have rights. I'm like, we all have rights. Like this, you're not trying to get out of fucking jail. We're on jet blue. Sit the fuck down, sir. Like someone put him in handcuffs. So they did, they put him in handcuffs. We got the fuck off the plane finally. And then, so me being an idiot and just having no like brain cells, I guess, is like, okay, awesome. So since I waited like eight hours on this plane, I assume my luggage will be at baggage claim, right? Nope, not the case. So my fucking my blacked out ass. I mean, my pulse is racing from trucking along this fucking airport. Finally gets to baggage claim. No bags. The lady goes, customer is arriving from LAX. The bags will be about 30 minutes to two hours. And at this point, when I was coming down the escalator to baggage claim, he was like, what terminal? The guy who flew me here. And so I was like, okay, terminal three, whatever, but don't call it yet because I, I never told him I had my bags. He calls the fucking car anyways. And then he's mad that I don't have my bag. I'm like, do I look like a conveyor belt to you, sir? No. And so then <laughs> um, my friend has to call me an Uber. He's like, you know what? I don't have time for this. Call a cab. And I'm like, sir, I'm in Boca Raton. I don't even think they have cabs, first of all. Second of all, not even like sound cunty i'm just like from iowa i've never been in a cab like i don't even know what that means i only know uber and lyft and it's like i think orbit <laughs> like the fuck we're not in new york and also ignore the fact that i need a refill of my botox peace love mid spa where the fuck are you at also if my nipples come out sorry onlyfans.com slash give me lila but so then um my friend Kristen <laughs> calls me a suburban thank god she's that bitch and wow you look hot i suck um and so then i get in the bourbon i'm there whatever last night we go to see him and he calls me a car and so me and my friend go outside and we're like where's the car he's like he's there like six exclamation points like getting so aggressive for no reason and i was like where'd you call it to and he told me the address that i was at two days prior so it's like, did you think I was just sitting there twiddling my thumbs at someone's, like, this one address for two days? Like, don't assume. You didn't even ask me for my fucking address. You just called the car and, and then got, oh. Sorry, my, like, battery's dying or something. And they got so fucking mad at me. I'm like, sir, you are making me feel like I took salvia right now. Like, I don't even know what you're saying, but I feel like you're speaking Rubik's Cube. 
And so then we get to his house, or no, we call him. We're like, you call it to the wrong address. He's out on fucking time with this. Jesus fucking. I'm like, you had one too many fucking like Coors lights or something. And also, I'm not even gonna like edit this or clip it. So this is literally just raw video. Like, so we get into his house. He's like already kind of being rude. We go to dinner, and my friend, who he's seen multiple times, set a video of herself. In, like in front of him like we're like literally sitting in front of him and he goes that's not you and he goes wow queen of photoshop or some rude shit like that and we literally go excuse me like you're like i have some respect sir <laughs> or send the cash shop one of the two or call the bourbon <laughs> um and then my nails right now inspired by miss kylie um done by modern pamper if y'all want to check them out in North Hollywood. um he goes, what's up with the nails? And I go, what do you love? I'm like so drunk off my martini. And he's like, no, it looks like someone threw up on them. <laughs> and me and my friend go, okay. Like, right. And just like literally being so, and then I'm at the table like coughing because I hit my dad then and he like made some stupid ass comment but then left the table to go smoke a cigarette. I'm like, Go chain smoke whatever the fuck you want, but keep, put a sock in it, sir. And so we get to his house. We're like, okay, thank God. Let's just like take some shots. Like, and honestly, leave. Like, call the bourbon. And so we get there. And then right, this is when it really just ticked it off. Kristen can feel more than welcome to speak up and say whatever the fuck she wants. But she took over the odds. <laughs> And she literally played La Di Da by Nessa Barrett. Like, imagine us just so drunk in our matching IMG is that it's just like literally listening to La Di Da. And he starts going on like this rampage. He's like, turn this shit the fuck off. Like, this is what the fuck I'm talking about. Y'all have no sense of life. Y'all are fucking idiots. Like, what else did he even say? He was like, being was like, like, this is why you guys grew up on this music and your brain is rotting and all you do is look at your fucking phone. And then I, so I'm sitting there like, <laughs> Alex, <laughs> like, babe, take, take it a step back. But he starts screaming. He's like, get the fuck off. Nope. I seriously had it. I don't know what it, what it was, but I've had it. That, that just ticked me off. I'm like. What ticked you off? Poor little Nessa Barrett, like her little 17 year old four foot eyes. Like, Nessa Barrett ticked you off, like, really? So, whatever. So, that happened. And then, how did it escalate even more? Like, she paused the music, and then he was like, I just had it tonight with, with her points at me, always being on her fucking phone, because I took one video, like, for my OnlyFans. And then was just like, she's a fucking idiot. She can't even do fucking anything right. Like, what else? Like, he was just going. And he was like, you couldn't even send me the simple address or, like, something Yeah, like he's that. like, he somehow related the music and the address and all this crazy bullshit. And then me not calling, like, he was like, and you said she called you a fucking cab, but I know she called you a suburban. First of all, duh, because she knows better. Second of all, <laughs> duh, because she's a good friend. Third of all, what else would she call me? Fourth of all, you weren't gonna fucking do it, so somebody had to. And so me, when I was like texting him, he was like, call a cab. I was like, okay, got it. Yep, my friend just called a cab for me. Like he somehow manipulated me saying cab instead of SUV suburban to me being like some meth head. Like him argue, I've never been like yelled at for something that was so crazy. I literally felt like I was doing black tar heroin and i've never done black tar heroin for anyone wondering also why do my tits look so funny like i'm so scared um and i was just like you have no fucking respect for literally anything which is why you're single and literally just sit and complain about your four ex-wives being fucking lesbians because i would be a fucking lesbian too and shit i think i am after that experience and like was just so and i'm like this is why you're single this is why you literally have a love interest for your dog like Poor fucking coat, Olaf, like poor Olaf, bless his fucking heart. And I literally was just like, you need to call the fucking suburban, check me the fuck out, cash at me now, and get me the fuck out of here because you're disgusting, you're fucking trash. I've never, I'm gonna honestly insert some of the clips or something, I don't even know if I'm, maybe I'll post them on my Instagram story, so go look. Um, and then he called the suburban and I like, 
I, and then he sent me a picture of his dog and goes, I miss you. I'm like, men are so fucking delusional and crazy. Like, I wish you guys could have seen him literally get out of his chair, scream at me in my fucking face, telling me I'm worthless. Literally, we'll never use this word, but retarded, which like, what? <laughs> and this, ladies and gents, is why you need to be so fucking careful if you are doing any type of sugar baby relationship. I'm just gonna give this a heads up because some of these daddies are so methed out and on like, 10 eight balls of coke and like divorced 16 times that they simply don't even know how to form a sentence or you, you talk <laughs> clearly um let and, alone send a cash app right let alone send a zell cash app give me a wad do fucking something like they're all so fucking worth this and i feel like i'm i could like i just need to do a whole separate video on actual like a q a or something for sugar babies or <laughs> or something because Ever since I got a puss, the sugar baby game really has changed. And, like, I've experienced so much in L.A., Boca, my, like, Miami. Like, so many different, like, types of, like, daddies that it's just, like, a whole nother world. And I'm, like, honestly, I hate all of them and want nothing but the worst for all of them. But some of them I really love and I'm obsessed with. So it's just, like, really confusing. And I feel like I'll probably never have a normal relationship ever again. Because if they're not paying me 2K PPM, then chances are I don't want them. So... If you're watching this and you want to date me, good luck. <laughs> but on the real, I really miss filming for you guys. And I have been vlogging. Stella moved in. I got my veneers done. I vlogged all of it. I should have vlogged my birthday because it was such a blacked out blur. But I think that's why my birthday was so good. Because I wasn't worried about fucking vlogging. And I was just in the moment. And I'm the best friend ever. Um, and I'm just so fucking grateful. And I'm so fucking sorry I've been offline for so long. I, it's weird. Because I've never even, like, said this or explained it, but I don't film videos because I feel like every month for the last year, I look different every week. And so it, like, stresses me out trying to, like, a month later, I'm like, wait, I can't post this because I don't even look like this anymore. Like, with or without lashes, my face got skinnier, my face got fatter, I have dyed my hair black, I got bangs, I'm wearing a wig. Like, I get more surgery, like, I do something, I got veneers, like, and it's, it gives me anxiety. And I don't know why, I'm, like, literally fucking insane. Um, but if y'all don't follow my fucking Instagram, it's Lila Get Me. My Snapchat's Lila Dash Get Me. My Twitter's Lila Get Me. I'm starting to be more active on there. Thank God. This year and this summer, I really, really, really think is going to be about being way more active. I'm moving soon. I think I'm going to get a house. Um, I'll be traveling a lot because COVID is, like, opening or something. Um, and I got my fucking vaccines, bitch. So try me. I went through the whole motherfucking quarantine without getting COVID. And that to me, ladies and gents, is kind of crazy. But my little trans ass is invincible, so try me. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more just like unedited bullshit, <laughs> then comment below. I really, really, really miss you guys, and I hope you liked it. Um, make sure to follow all my socials, and until next time, you guys, I love you.